Welcome back to TR Podcast, and today we're gonna learn Good something job. about the elephants. Oh, so so tell me, sir, what is what uh, about your visit for Kaziranga or the project that you've been doing? Kaziranga, um, so they're celebrating 30 years of Project Elephant. Okay. And uh, President of India has come. Okay. For that specifically, uh. to join or rather initiate the celebrations. Mm. Idea is to take the message that India is committed to conservation of elephants. Mm. So what is so? What was your role in this project? This is just an event. Okay. So we were managing the event, uh-huh. planning uh, activities. Idea is to take the message. That's what government is keen okay. to take the message forward. Uh, getting more transparency to the project elephant okay that's beautiful so beside uh, how did you get interested in this project like how, elephants uh, yeah so this project is a job opportunity okay so we have done something so for job purpose we join mm-hmm. but elephants getting interested on elephants is uh, a different thing altogether okay i would say it was love at first <coughs> sight okay and it evolved over time so we w- always wanted to watch elephants mm-hmm. whenever there was an opportunity and uh, over time that interest became so deep that we also started studying them understanding them systematically so in in uh, uttarakhand you being uh, so you have been working in their uh, job yes i am in a Bom- institute okay which is WA, functioning WA, right? ah, WA. yeah ah. WA, which is functioning under MOEF okay and in WA specifically we work on elephants okay we okay. study elephants in mm. different areas mm. that's beautiful so what, what, what is something that you so far from your experience of your learning how what is something that uh, comes to your mind when you think about the Asian elephants what are those thoughts Asian elephants they are like our cousins they have actually come very similar mm-hmm. uh, from Africa mm-hmm. and just before us they arrived here mm. and we are the only problem for them why do you think so we are the only problem it is like that because both of us have the same requirement mm. and we have outcompeted them okay and now it's up to us to actually sustain them in some pockets of the country mm-hmm. because it's very clear why they disappeared it's because of us okay and it's also very clear that if they have to survive it's the initiative should be from our side makes sense and it's not possible everywhere in the country maybe in some pockets so here it's possible it's possible in kaziranga kaziranga of course is okay. the stronghold okay if it's not possible in kaziranga it's not possible anywhere why do you think so like why is that kaziranga is a stronghold okay that's the that's the best that elephants could get mm. protection food mm. water Mm. that's what they wanted and that's ample in kasiranga makes sense so and these are the areas they have to manage because we cannot let us say these areas also mm. kasiranga alone will not be adequate so they require all these other areas also in equal measure mm. but we have to put in checks and balances so what what are those checks and balances checks and balances is to make sure that uh, uh, there is no frequent confrontations mm. we understand what the problem is and mm. then get into suggestions so like let's say uh, there is a movement of elephant in this reserve forest so this is called deopaha reserve forest okay and there is to be a movement of elephant and sometimes they uh, they come to the village even mm. like to my home also mm. so and and of course these village people they 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 are aware that the elephant come to their um, area or whatever mm. but uh, the conflict that that we have seen like you know uh, there's a, like a single uh, tax mm. tasker right mm. the single tasker elephant they comes and like they raid some people vegetable mm. uh, field or and so on mm. so uh, what do you think about that what comes to your mind why 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 this is happening or or let's say what is the what is something can be done for the village people to understand that okay this checks and measurement for them or what is the good what is the best initiative these village people can take whereas they're living in, in a in an area just next to a reserve forest so 
or to be those so this is not not new what we see mm. is not new mm. this should be the case for at least last 500 years or so mm. so we have to reflect back what was happening how they were able to manage mm. and the same thing has to be continued even now they are continuing it mm. even now mm. both of them are <laughs> there together okay which itself implies that both elephants and local people have found some way or the other to tolerate each other mm. and that's why they are there actually mm. because they are there in only 2 to 3 percent of the entire country okay oh. which means obviously here they have found ways and means to mm. tolerate each other mm. mm-hmm. we just need to foster it further mm. maybe see if there are some uh, uh, long standing issues that mm. can be addressed okay but the recent ones oh. with respect to this industry coming up mines being set up mm-hmm. roads mm. getting expanded this is something that is very difficult to handle this is going to amplify the problem mm. this is going to amplify the problem and uh, we don't know what to do why we don't know that we should maybe come up with something <laughs> we don't know is not the right thing we can't do anything it's like stage 4 of cancer in some areas okay you have to only euthanize thank you thank you for uh, for giving us a little bit of awareness and information about elephant uh, tell me something you love you love about the elephants have you seen this mo- elephant, movie movie called they were also told a while ago elephant dung you will show i really like elephant smell the smell mm. of elephants mm. oh i i once when i was like uh, once when this tusker came to my yard so i was sleeping and then um, then i felt the difference of the smell and then i remember the smell i i have that memory of the smell and it was like i like it i like it too so have you seen this uh, movie called the elephant whisper recently it got oscar no, nominated no, no, no. it's a beautiful one it's a sound oh. something movie no Yes, yes, it's from Mudumalai yeah. only. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, how did elephant reach to Sri Lanka? Elephant reached Sri Lanka. Elephant can still reach Sri Lanka. They can still go from India to Sri Lanka. How? They can swim. Okay. Easily they can swim. That distance is no distance at all. Okay. 10-15 kilometers. In fact, we can swim and go. Good swimmers. Okay. Can still swim from uh, Rameswaram uh-huh. and reach uh, Sri Lanka. Wow. Wow. I had, I had this confusion, but yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Thank yes. you for for this or even uh talks. So just telling a very general okay, thing. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You tell me as a local person <coughs> here. What do you think? Because what we think doesn't matter about much the here. elephant, about yeah. the elephant, about maybe the problem. When you look the history of this place or oh, back on before like after independence like let's say uh, 30 years back from now or 40 years back from now this was a reserve for us mm. this place was a reserve for us But then there was no issue i ha- i have heard the stories like that then like you know when people used to come uh, in this forest because they used to stay in the plains right mm. so when they come to the forest and when they see elephant they just knock in the bamboo tok tok mm. and elephant used to run mm. and now the elephants like you know doesn't matter whatever you do until and unless somebody doesn't have a gunshot they mm. will like Are you know Are guns there here? No, the, the forest department they sometimes they come Okay, and, but uh, people don't carry guns, no? No, no. Some some people may do for hunting. <laughs> hunting of some deer. No, do deer. they injure elephants? No, no, no. But yeah, they, 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 no, they, they used to throw this uh, iron rod. It's spear. called Yeah, no, no, no. Iron rod. Spear. Yeah, yeah, it's called hail. Okay. Hail, hail, hail. hail, hail. in bolom no they have like a, a pointed iron like spear. Spear. Yeah. spear yeah 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 they used to do and like there's there are stories in here that people uh, like have one inj- elephant got injured and mm. so what I'm trying to say is like see they used to roam in this reserve forest and mm. they they come to the village mm. but the problem i want say the problem again uh, one day they were he said me like maybe they find easy food in here and they go and visit people property or the of garden of course that is yeah it's all their food but when you go in banana inside, paddy everything yeah. paddy you have different types of paddy see yeah but there's a there's an one elephant corridor also in here but mm. what what is lacking is like you know uh, slowly 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 uh, 
the habitat the habitat are shrinking you know barking they call yeah, it is calling so, yeah. so slowly the habitat is getting lost mm. and and this habitat loss is been uh, been done by us only mm. like say the tea garden plantation mm. or like say peri uh, perifil uh, like uh, And lots of things that are happening and people are uh, people are thinking like okay it's one elephant nothing like you know we need to survive and it's all for the survival you know but i think so if government or if the forest department have a proper check and give us some good uh, like if they have a, like a, a good uh, meeting what to do when an elephant comes government and, doesn't know what to do okay honest thing is government lockdown is not very clear what to do so what i'm seeing is like the people are aware the elephant they they raid their property or they visit but you know i think so their habitat habitat is getting diminished slowly slowly and maybe uh, when i was a kid i used to see an herd of elephant passing by but now i just see they are being uh, they 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 have become um, they broke in chunks in small families so it's quite sad and we feel so proud to see an elephant and shout but i don't think so that's that does that does a legit uh, justification for their survival and it's a and now you have see there's a sand mining road uh, it went and it, it somehow it blocked the corridor i won't say it blocked the corridor but it was a disturbance so lots of disturbance in this area and maybe people think it's a very fun thing but uh, i don't know even what can be done forest looks empty if you go deep inside the forest something out there it's just empty and and maybe in the in the in the future maybe we will see elephants in just a reserve park something elephant park right we won't see like that free free roaming of elephant of course they will keep out of the quarry boy no assam whatever i heard last two days situation is quite bad Let's like Karnataka is better. Okay. Still, lot of elephants are inside the forest. Mm. Tamil Nadu also more or less there inside. Sixty, sixty, forty. Indian cuckoo calling. More mm. tepeki. Tepeki is alright. You got in essence. Mm-hmm. Spring. Spring. But it's sad because uh, the amount of okay. amount of uh, food they required in a day. I don't think so. This uh, this. Uh, Reserve forest can uh, now have that amount of food. Obviously, the, these small patches cannot provide them the fodder uh, that they require. So they obviously have to move. But small place, we don't even know. We, in the sense, at least I'm not able to comprehend how far they move. What is there lying? So before the before the refinery was set up, the elephant used to be. So where is that famous that N- N- Namaligarh refinery? There one, you can see the lights now. Oh ho! Those are the refinery. So elephant, it's a corridor out here. Okay. We took the left turn for the mm. Babathan. Mm. If we go straight, mm. maybe a kilometer. And probably we're gonna talk about elephant more in the coming days. Uh, see you. Bye.